welcome to our lesson this is a linear motion okay linear motion is basically form 2 and it is a challenge <coughs> sorry it is a challenge to most students because they don't comprehend two things one that a slower vehicle will always leave early so that the first vehicle can catch up you do it in everyday life situation but when it comes to maths you get lost number two what we call relative speed okay when vehicles are going towards the same direction we subtract so if one is moving at 60 and then another one is moving at 100 then the relative speed there is 100 minus 60 but when they are meeting towards common point okay then we add so today i will do one the lesson one i'm doing one where they are coming towards a common point then the next lesson is when they are heading towards the same direction today opposite tomorrow uh, second lesson same so that you see what i mean there are only two major steps once you get those ones you are done okay so here we have a scenario we are told that there is town a and there is town b the distance between them is 360 okay then we are told that a is the from town a a minibus have abbreviated mba a minibus leaves at 8 15 am 8 15 am and it is traveling towards b at a speed of 90 km per hour so this is the diagram we are told two and a third hours later two and a third hours later a matter to leave town b towards a at a speed of 110 kilometer per hour okay this has two version you can be told this much time later that is what i'll be calling time difference or I would have given you matatu left b at 10:35 so 10:35 minus 8:15 that is 2:20 2 hours 20 minutes eh? so i can give you two versions blah blah hours later that by itself i'm addressing it as time difference but if he gives you time of the day like 10 30 that is time of the day then when you take 10 30 and you subtract 8 15 you get what i'll be referring to as time difference major step number one you always have to get the distance covered by the earlier vehicle a vehicle that leaves early how far has it gone by the time the other one wants to start operating so in our case the one which started earlier is a minibus and the time difference two and a third two hours 20 minutes is two and a third okay so you come here we have to know how far has it covered so it has covered distance equal to its speed its speed times time difference i hope you know now time difference so its speed is 90 i put it here time difference is two and a third you know it has to be in hours so even if i had subtracted the version of 10 30 minus 8 15 even if i had subtracted i would have gotten two hours 20 minutes so you convert everything into hours which gives us two hours 
20 over 60 is the one which gives me a third, okay? So I put it here, 7 over 3, because it's in hours. 3 cancels. This 3 goes here, 30. So 30 times 7 is 210. This is very important. So I know, look at my diagram now. I know it started at 8, 15, eh? It has traveled. It has traveled. I've put A prime. New. It's new position. At 10.35 is here. Okay? So at 10.35 it is here. While the, the matatu is at B. That is a simple diagram now. Once you understand this, you can come and now compute time, distance. The total distance is 210. I mean is 360. What has been covered so far is 210, so that there is common time. Okay, common time. New position of minibus. Old position of minibus. New position of minibus. Okay, so the distance here is 360 minus 210. I hope it is 150. Sometimes you make errors. Simple things. Right. So, number two. We focus down here now. Let me focus there. Number two. Time to meet. What time will they meet? A shortcut. There are two methods, but I'm giving you direct. Time to meet is always distance between. Get the word right. Distance between the two vehicles. Distance between them. Okay? So, the new position is A prime at 10.35, eh? A prime. So what is the distance between this minibus and the matatu? It is 150. Divide by relative speed. Relative speed, when they are going opposite side, we add, is 110 plus 90, which is 200. So can you compute 150 over 200? I'm getting 0 0.75 hours. Okay? If you want to change this into minutes, multiply by 60. So 7.5 times 6. Okay? I think you'll get something like this. Oh. Okay? So, can we convert this? Yes, you can. Now, they meet after 45 minutes. So, after 45 minutes from this position, that is when they meet. So, analyze. B has taken 45 to meeting point. I am putting meeting point M. B has taken 45. But minibus has taken two-third plus 45, okay? So here, just down here, if you want, this is M. This is B and this is A. So remember here, there were two portions. Eh? There is time first to 20 minutes and then here, 45 minutes get but this one is just 45 minutes you have to analyze this the way i'm doing it because next they'll ask you how far is the meeting point from a i can't ask you from b <laughs> it will be too cheap how far is the minibus from a so minibus took two and a third hours and again now what 45 minutes so you can get such a question another question which you can get is at what time did they meet or overtake at what time is time of the day so you can't tell me 45 minutes no at what time did they meet? 
at refers you to time of the day at 12 noon at 12:30 at 2 pm you see at right so get the two as i conclude after you have done number 2 you come and do number 3 analysis this analysis helps you eh? what how have i analyzed it this way so there is a there is a prime meeting point b now i'm analyzing it with respect to time so this is 45 minutes here 45 minutes but here is two and a third hours okay that is my analysis so any question to do with the distance distance is speed times time so you take either the speed of a times time that is required or speed of b times time that is required depending on the question I will stop there. Key things that you must know from this distance covered by the earlier vehicle. You must get that one clear. Okay. Two, time to meet or overtake is distance between. Distance between divided by relative speed. Three, analyze the framework of time because you are likely to get two questions, two more questions. Eh? One, how far from A or from B did they meet? Two, at what time? That means time of the day. So get a similar question and try. Bye-bye.